If you are gearing up for JEE 2024 and wondering how to maximize your preparations in the final stretch, you are in the right place. Mindset only that first we set our goal that how much marks are practically possible. You see, we should not have any goal which is very hypothetical. We, we should not think that from here from 100 marks we can reach 250 marks. So, first part is the goal set. So our mind should be very clear that how much marks I can target during this one month. Now, you see, different students may have different level at this time, they may have different type of preparation. Some of them may be having, having the first attempt of uh, difficult exam, you can say, in the month of Jan. They are also having one more charge in the upgrade, then they are also in the chance for JE advance. So, some of them can target. 250 marks, some of them can target 200 marks, some of them can target 150 marks. So the mindset is that how much marks is possible, the second how it is possible. So that mindset should be in the positive mind frame that how much effort I can make. Not that uh, tension that uh, this marks are possible or not possible. Once you set your target then you should think how that marks are possible and that how will give you the answer that what you should do and what you should not do. That what are the syllabus of different subjects, physics, chemistry and mathematics. Then you analyze what you have done. And then you appear one, two, three papers and you see your performance in different subjects. Analyze your performance topic wise, sector wise. Then divide these topics in two, three, four categories. Like you know that, like suppose in chemistry, if you are having 25 chapters, you might getting 100% marks, 90% marks in some of the topics. So you know that these topics are your strong area. So now you need not to worry about these topics. You have the minimum confidence that you will have perfect marks in these topics. Now the remaining topics, like suppose out of 25 topics, 10 topics are there where you can get the 100% marks. Now think about remaining 15 topics. In this 15 topics, there are some topics you feel weaker and you find that one month is not sufficient to revise. Then you concentrate on the remaining topics. Like out of 15 topics, there are 7 topics where you feel that they are very difficult to revise in the coming time. So you concentrate on remaining 8 topics make your short note also the same division you should do in physics and mathematics also you plan that how much study is possible for you ideally if you can study 10 hours 11 hours this time it is very good if you can extend to 12 hours it is excellent so suppose if you can go to 12 hours so you devote three hours to attempt one mock paper or previous year paper and the remaining nine hours you divide in equal parts, three, three, three hours. In each three hours, uh, one hour you can give for the revision of the topic where you feel that I should give the revision. The part D where you feel that some part of the revision is required to get more marks. And remaining two hours you can devote to practicing the old questions and analyzing the questions. But whenever you do the revision, you also have the clock with you timer with you so that you can see that how much questions or how much revision you are doing with the unit time. You see it is not only the time, how much time you are studying, it is also equally important that what you are doing in the unit time. So your perfect schedule should be like this that once you are doing 12 hours and you have divided the total time in four parts. One part is paper attempting and three parts is physics, chemistry, mathematics. You are dividing dividing in the four parts and devoting 12 hours. So when you are devoting 12 hours and with the efficiency in each subject, definitely your confidence will be much more. Normally what we do, we take one subject in a day and we try to do one subject in a four time of the day. In that case, your efficiency with time, one hour, two hour, three hour, after three hour your efficiency decreases and your speed also decreases. So your overall output will be lesser if you study only one topic in a day or 
एक्जेक्टली वन सब्जेक्ट इन इट इज द बेस्ट दैट यू डू ऑल थ्री टॉपिक्स ऑल थ्री यू कैन से सब्जेक्ट इन एडिक्स major cause of destruction is the fear that i will fail uh, why we go to the instagram or facebook or different social media that we want to see whether i am failing or all other are also failing so we want the similar type of friends circle with us to get our confidence or this is not the only i am failing so once we have the uh, fear of failure it give our more destruction what we can do that we can plan that what what can be helpful let's like suppose after one month what if i do the my best effort what will happen sabse kharab kya ho sakta hai hamare saath mein uh, i will get the very less mark i will not be selected isse zyada kharab kya ho sakta hai what more what can be done now the second question should come in the mind that if i do not study in the plan manner then what will happen suppose if i do my best during this one month and i get very bad mark it's my possible ki out of 300 i get only 100 mark after giving my best effort but you see the second question is if you do not put your effort what will happen even that 100 mark will come 50 marks so that 100 marks will give you confidence that if i put my best effort during the one month i will get 100 marks then i have the chance in april also that is after 2 months so in one month if i can increase my marks by 30 40 50 then in the remaining 2 months i can also increase my 50 marks more 100 marks more so that is called the positive approach the negative approach is that i am not able to do so i see how i can save myself and to save myself i see the similar type of faces on instagram or on facebook and i See, satisfy myself. I would not satisfy myself whether I say that uh, things will be go like this only. So that we can avoid this approach, and only we should think I am not doing, uh, not taking one exam. I am exploring my capabilities, and the major role should be to explore my capabilities. So the exams is not the end of the day. This is not the final exam of the life. Exam will be the continuous. Some of them you are doing a first exam of their life, first national exam of their life. They have one more chance. So if they know the method of study, right method of study, they always have the positivity in their mind. They always have the chance to improve. But by you see spending time on Insta or social media or this type of distraction, they will get. They will not able to. See, explore themselves that how they can improve. So, our main aim of the life to enhance our capabilities, not to take only one exam. So, this practice should be in such a way that you will explore your capabilities, so you enhance your ability capabilities. So, I think if you devote only exploring. To see the answer of this type of question in your mind, once you go to the Instagram and you spend time there, you ask only yourself that why I am doing this? Is I am enjoying by spending time of Instagram? Then, then that way you find. But I think at the exam time, you will feel guilty if you spend two hours, three hours on any social media. So only to feel that guilty, why you should spend time on the social media? change in jee mail the pattern is fixed the 25 question you have to attempt in each paper so i do not see there is any much change in the style of paper so paper pattern will remain same or i also think the level of paper will also remain same mathematics portion they are giving the tougher side they might see that uh, they can easy the mathematics paper but they can make the physics paper tougher so only this type of changes are possible the change in pattern is not possible how to reduce negative marking you see why negative marking occurs again we have to understand we want to solve more questions in lesser time jab bhi hum us tarah ki hardbadi karte hain tabhi negative marking hoti hai and you can see ki sabse zyada negative marking chemistry mein hoti hai we understand that chemistry is easy we understand that humne ek bar ncert padh li to chemistry to hum attempt kar hi lenge ki humne padha hua hai 
तो हम जब चार ऑप्शन देखते हैं तो हमको लगता है कि ये भी सही हो सकता है ये भी सही हो सकता है और चूंकि हमको लगता है कि हमने पढ़ा हुआ है अप्रोचेबल है इसलिए क्वेश्चन को करते जरूर है मैथमेटिक्स में क्वेश्चन अप्रोच ही नहीं होता टफ होता है तो अटेम्प्ट ही नहीं करते हैं तो नेगेटिव होने का मतलब ही नहीं है तो नेगेटिव मार्किंग इसी अप्रोच की वजह से होती है जब हम क्वेश्चन को थोड़ा जल्दी रीड करते हैं या क्वेश्चन में कैलकुलेशन में एरर करने की कोशिश करते हैं तो इन सबको अवॉइड करने का एक ही तरीका है जैसे मैंने कहा कि एग्जाम माइंड सेट ऐसे नहीं जाए कि वहां पर कुछ हम अलग करने जा रहे इस माइंड सेट के साथ जाए एग्जाम डे के दिन कि हम कुछ अलग नहीं कर रहे हैं वही कर रहे हैं जो मॉक पेपर में अभी करेंगे उसमें जो परफेक्शन करते जा रहे हैं वही करें सेकेंड कभी भी नेगेटिव हम क्वेश्चन को अप्रोच ऐसे ना करें कि मैंने क्वेश्चन पढ़ा होगा हम उसको एक्सक्लूड करने की कोशिश करें और अगर हमें ये लगता है कि आउट ऑफ फोर ऑप्शन दो ऑप्शन ऐसे हैं जो नहीं हो सकते और मुझे दो ही ऑप्शन में चांसेस लेने हैं तभी उस क्वेश्चन को अटेम्प्ट करें क्योंकि वहां पर आपके पास में रिस्क फिफ्टी परसेंट का है अगर आप कुछ भी नहीं आता क्वेश्चन का और केवल इसलिए कर रहे हैं कि कभी आपने वो क्वेश्चन पढ़ा हुआ है तो यू आर टेकिंग सेवेंटी रिस्क फिफ्टी परसेंट रिस्क में यह है कि यू डन फोर क्वेश्चन हो सकता है कि दो क्वेश्चन आपके सही भी हो जाए तभी पॉजिटिव मार्किंग आपकी ज्यादा होगी इन सम क्वेश्चन यू कैन ऑल्सो हैव द अप्रोच कि आपके पास में आपको ये नहीं पता कि राइट क्वेश्चन कौन सा है राइट आंसर कौन सा है पर आपको ये पता है कि रिमेनिंग थ्री आंसर कैन नॉट बी द आंसर तो ये एक नेगेटिव अप्रोच है जो आपको रखनी चाहिए विथ माई एक्सपीरियंस आई कैन टेल यू दैट some students have this approach also and they have successful they get the successful marks in this direction ye approach bhi acha hai ki hame right answer nahi pata par hame ye pata hai ki teen galat answer kaun se hai aur single question answer hai agar aisa approach hamare 10% question mein bhi lag gaya to your 10% mark may increase to so, negative marking ko aise lijiye aap ki wahan negative marking kariye jahan par aapko kuch pata hai jahan pe aapko kuch bhi nahi pata उन क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करने की कोशिश मत करिए एग्जाम में ज्यादा क्वेश्चन सॉल्व मत करने की कोशिश करिए मॉक पेपर देना इसीलिए जरूरी है ताकि आपको आइडिया लग सके कि आपको फिजिक्स में कितने क्वेश्चन करने हैं केमिस्ट्री में कितने क्वेश्चन करने हैं मैथ्स में कौन से कितने क्वेश्चन करने हैं और किसी भी क्वेश्चन पर अटकना नहीं है आगे बढ़ते रहना है क्वेश्चन जब आप उस अप्रोच से करेंगे तो आपको एग्जैक्टली एग्जाम दे में आइडिया होगा कि कितने कितने क्वेश्चन आपको अप्रोच करने हैं अन्य सभी की आपको स्पीड नहीं बढ़ानी हो सकती एक चीज और ध्यान रखिए कुछ गल है आई वॉन्ट टू आपने क्वेश्चन नहीं किया पर मैं बत, थोड़ा बताना चाहूंगी जितने भी ये जेई के सेंटर्स आते हैं सीबीटी सेंटर्स आते हैं ये थोड़ा सा रिमोट एरिया के होते हैं कई बार गूगल भी फेल हो जाता है टू आइडेंटिफाई द सीबीटी सेंटर तो इट इज एडवाइजेबल कि या तो आप एक दिन या दो दिन पहले उन सेंटर्स को एक बार देख लें कि वो कहाँ पर है अगर वो प्रैक्टिकली आपके लिए पॉसिबल नहीं है तो आप एटलीस्ट थ्री टू फोर आवर पहले आप घर से निकलिए ताकि बाय चांस गूगल फेल हो गया और आप नहीं पहुंच पाए वहां पर तो आपके पास एक्स्ट्रा टाइम होता है क्योंकि एग्जाम टाइम पे फिर टेंशन क्रिएट होती है और अगर आप लास्ट मोमेंट पे प्रेशर क्रिएट होता है टेंशन क्रिएट होती है तो उसका इम्पैक्ट फिर आपको पेपर पे भी पड़ता है उसको अवॉइड करने के लिए बेस्ट तो ये है कि आप एक दो दिन पहले खुद देख लें या अपने फैमिली में किसी को भेज कर देख लें या फिर आप जो है ना एग्जाम देख पे बिफोर टाइम निकलें 